Here's an interesting project we recently worked on. Uh, a client came to us with an old-fashioned brick colonial that they wanted to transform into a shingle style without disturbing the inside of the home. Uh, exterior work only. All they gave us uh, to work with were these two photos. And it's not an easy thing to ask, uh, but we started by looking at lots of other shingle style homes to see what the client liked best. Uh, it's always a good idea to have some sort of vision in mind uh, for a finished product when you start uh, you know, redesigning a home. Once we have that, it's time to start sketching. Uh, start your sketch work uh, by defining the major shapes that make up the, the current structure. Uh, a colonial is basically just a series of, of rectangles. Uh, the large columns and, and roof overhang that you see are just for show. Uh, the bones of the house, the, the parts we can't touch, are, are all blocked out in black. Uh, once I know what can't be touched, uh, I discard the rest and then sketch right on top. Uh, that roof overhang, the columns, the bricks, the, the main roof, it'll all be removed, but that, the house frame won't be touched at all. Um, I like to ink right over the pencil sketch once I have a, a, a rough sketch. Uh, I take a photocopy first so you, you can ink over a, a bunch of times without having to redraw the sketch. Uh, we added a, a new front door, front porch, uh, completely different roof line. The bricks were, were all removed. Uh, we used a vinyl cedar shade compression and new round columns. Um, this time, you know, much shorter than the old ones. Um, we also updated all the grills and uh, on the windows, wrapped the windows with Azek. The front masonry porch, that's going to be made much wider to support the new the new sort of uh, porch roof. Uh, when I overlay the two drawings, you can see how the exact same frame uh, can result in two completely different homes. Uh, it's a super important skill to learn if you, if you want to be an architect, designer, or, or even a house flipper. Uh, it's easy to transform an older home with sort of an outdated... Uh, style for the for the area into something more modern without touching a, a single thing inside the home uh, it's a lot cheaper to do it this way too and, and a lot less work it has a lot of value to the house um, you know and you, and you don't the, the customers can live inside the house when you do the work because you know you're only gonna redo the outside uh, you can really see clear when you look at this side-by-side -side view that the the, the areas I outline in dark black. That's the the real frame of the house. All your windows, your doors, you know, your headers, your beams, uh, exterior walls, the roof. Um, basically, all the, exactly the same. We, we did change the main roof line, um, but that actually wasn't a big deal. Um, so you you can really just completely change how a house looks. Um, very little work. It, you know, just using this, this really simple method of, of sketching over um, the old frame. And, and here's a rendering of the house design when it's all done. Uh, you can see it's a huge difference from uh, where we started. 